Good evening. Welcome to worship with Messiah Evangelical Lutheran Church and Emmanuel United Church of Christ of New Berlin, Pennsylvania for this Wednesday, August the 19th. It is good to gather as God's people and celebrate the goodness of God's grace and love and all of God's good creation, even in the midst of times that are trying all of us, that never can cease to end, seem to end. I invite you to prepare your heart for worship. Take some deep breaths. Join me in the opening dialogue. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. All oh, praise to thee, my God, this night for all the blessings of the light. Keep me, oh, keep me, King of kings, Beneath thine own almighty wings. Forgive me, Lord, for thy dear Son, The ill that I this day have done, That with the world myself and thee, I ere I sleep at peace may be. Teach me to live that I may dread the grave as little as my bed. Teach me to die that so I may rise glorious at that awesome day. Oh, may my soul in thee repose. And may sweet sleep mine eyelids close, sleep that shall me more vigorous make to serve my God when I awake. Praise God from whom all blessings praise God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise God above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Our first reading this evening is from Genesis chapter 45, verses 16 to 28. When the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, Joseph's brothers have come. Pharaoh and his servants were pleased. Pharaoh said to Joseph, Say to your brothers, Do this, load your animals and go back to the land of Canaan. Take your father and your household and come to me, so that I may give you the best of the land of Egypt, and that you may enjoy the fat of the land. You are further charged to say, Do this. Take wagons from the land of Egypt for your little ones and your wives, and bring your father and come. Give no thoughts to your possessions, for the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. The sons of Israel did so. Joseph gave them wagons according to the instruction of Pharaoh, and he gave them provisions for the journey. To each one of them he gave a set of garments, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred pieces of silver and five sets of garments. To his father, he sent the following, 10 donkeys loaded with the good things of Egypt and 10 female donkeys loaded with grain, bread, and provisions for his father on the journey. Then he sent his brothers on their way. And as they were leaving, he said to them, do not quarrel along the way. So they went out of Egypt and came to their father, Jacob in the land of Canaan. And they told him, Joseph is still alive. He is even ruler over all of Egypt. He was stunned. He could not believe them. 
But when they told him all the words of Joseph that he had said to them, and he went and saw the wagons that Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of their father Jacob revived. Israel said, Enough, my son Joseph is alive. I must go and see him before I die. Our next reading is Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of, your, of my supplication. If you were to keep watch over sins, O Lord, who could stand? Yet with you is forgiveness, in order that you may be feared. I wait for you, O Lord. My soul waits in your word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who keep watch in the morning. More than those who keep watch in the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love. With the Lord there is plenteous redemption. For the Lord shall redeem Israel from all their sins. The gospel reading this evening is from Matthew 8, chapters 1 through 13. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him, and there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, can you make me clean? He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. When Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. When he entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, appealing to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed in terrible distress. And he said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion answered, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only speak the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority with soldiers under me. And I say to one go and he goes and to another come and he comes and to my slave do this and the slave does it. When Jesus heard him, he was amazed and said to those who followed him, Truly I tell you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from east and west and will eat with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, while the heirs of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And to the centurion Jesus said, Go, and let it be done for you according to your faith. And the servant was healed in that hour. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and all who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints who commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. God of learning and growing, this school year is unlike any before. Bless administrators, teachers, and school staff members supporting for, preparing for this school year. Guide their decisions and grant them hearts of compassion and grace for the days ahead. Bless students returning to the classroom and those learning remotely with patience and grace for difficult days. Help them learn about the world you have made and protect them with your love. Bless parents who are still deciding what to do this year. Bring them discerning hearts and peace in you. Remind us always of your love. Amen. O oh God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Gathered into the Holy Spirit, we are bold to pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Go forth in peace to love and serve God, my friends.